Gobble delivers gourmet, freshly prepped 15-minute meal kits right to your doorstep. Our chef-designed meals are easy to prepare, with simple recipes and fresh ingredients that have been chopped, portioned, and simmered so that dinner is both fast and flavorful. Gobble combines the convenience of takeout with the health, satisfaction, and freshness of a home-cooked meal. Gobble is the perfect solution for young professionals, dual working households, busy families, and anyone who wants to spend less time in the kitchen and more time at the dinner table. Try their best-selling dishes like butter chicken with basmati rice and naan bread, seared sirloin steaks with crispy smashed potatoes, spinach and three peppercorn sauce, pan-seared duck breast with Persian jeweled rice and delicata squash, and many more. Visit gobble.com slash calm636 to get your first six gobble meals for just $36. Hello, welcome to Find Your Daily Calm, your daily dose of calm. I'm Sel Gaston. To begin this meditation, please find a comfortable place free from distractions throughout the duration of this session and make a commitment to stillness. And lastly, please be mindful that you should not be driving or operating any heavy equipment while listening to this meditation. Thank you. Being mindful and present with negative emotions. In this exercise, I'll share how mindfulness can help you become however you want to be. Rather than simply reacting to the stressors of work, news, and responsibilities. By now, you're probably feeling a little more comfortable with mindfulness practice. And you may also feel the potential of what mindfulness can do for you. For example, what would it be like if you weren't worried about work or your mortgage? Or feeling overwhelmed all the time? Or feeling tired from all your chores? What if, instead of feeling overwhelmed, bored, or stressed, you were able to step back and say, Oh, okay, that's overwhelm. Or, alright, that's worry. Okay, that's just stress. And I got this. Rather than saying, I am stressed, Rather than feeling as though you're in the middle of it all. Instead, just recognizing that, okay, that's a thought or that's a feeling. For some of you, that may sound weird or crazy. And you may well think, yeah, but you don't know my crazy situation. And you're probably right, because I don't. But remember... It's really important to see that this practice of mindfulness takes time for change to happen. But change does happen. For people who are successful at what they do, it's a habit of a lifetime. Or at least a habit of a few good years. We're not just talking about doing better at work or feeling stressed. This is about living on your own terms. This is about choosing how awake and present you want to be for the life you're living right now. This is about enhancing your presence, your wisdom, your compassion, and your effect on the world inside of you and outside of you to the absolute best of your ability. How do you want to be when you're older? Mindful. Every time you realize you're distracted and you're taking the time to acknowledge it, something is changing. Not only in thoughts and consciousness, but also in the brain itself. If you experience stress, overwhelm, or anxiety a lot, then it will be really uncomfortable and you will probably want to get as far away from it as possible. And that's really understandable. But it's also really important 
to acknowledge that you can't stop anxiety. Everyone has tried it. It does not work. What you can do is develop a different type of relationship to it, where you eventually feel at ease with it, and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way of further understanding the mind. As you move through your day today, remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware, being present for the sensations in your body. Whenever you remember to do this, it's quite an amazing thing because all of a sudden, you are actually present. Again, it's as though you cut the negative feedback loop. You step out of the loop of thinking, which fuels the emotions of stress and overwhelm. And instead, you are actually present with your body and what you are doing. On the one hand, it's a very ordinary feeling. And yet, on the other hand, it's an extraordinary feeling. Because we experience it so rarely. Just remembering to be present. Simply being aware. Excellent. Well done. To recap, if you experience stress, overwhelm, or anxiety a lot, then it will be really uncomfortable. And you will probably want to get as far away from it as possible. That is very understandable. But it's also really important to acknowledge that you cannot stop anxiety. Everyone has tried it. It does not work. What you can do is develop a different type of relationship to it, where you eventually feel at ease with it and potentially can even start to embrace it as a way of further understanding the mind. As you move through your day today, remember that idea of being aware, simply being aware being present for the sensations in your body. I hope this has been useful for you. Thank you for your mindfulness. This mindfulness exercise was brought to you by MindfulnessExercises.com through the kindness of Sean Fargo. May you be calm, may you be at ease, and may peace be upon you.